Hello, and welcome back to my channel for another experiment video. Uh, today we're taking a look at, uh, I forget his full name, uh, it's Sari, the um, Napoli manager, who obviously has been quite heavily linked recently with the Chelsea job, and Conte's job is in jeopardy despite the FA Cup win, uh, what, about a week, two weeks ago? I think it's two weeks ago now, as I record. Um, yeah, so he's possibly at risk of losing his job, and... The heavy favourite seems to be Sarri from Chelsea. Uh, we're going to look at sort of similar things we did in my Arsenal video at the start. Obviously, unvenger related. Uh, and I'm not sure which order I've done it. I've just recorded before this the West Ham Pellegrini video. So if you haven't seen that already, that's upcoming. Or if you have, we're going along the same sort of route as that, really. But we, without explaining it all again each time, uh, which means I probably will release the Pellegrini video first just so it's aware for everyone uh, we will get into this and try and make this a you know another quick snappy video I think the West Ham I haven't edited it yet obviously I'm hoping it's not too long uh, so we can see their fifth but that's obviously Maurizio Sarri um, so we can see that yeah they've got a new cat vice captain so we can see that already is something that's changed um, it looks like they finished quite well in the division so obviously he's still in the job that's the first thing we look at uh, we're going to go over to the Premier League right now and season preview for this year obviously we can't look at last year's they are due expected to finish second so you imagine they were due somewhere in the same sort of area last season I think I can already see uh, one of the transfers that may have come to Chelsea I can see a player in the media dream 11 that has um, got a blue shirt on it it's probably Chelsea so last season where did they finish they did indeed finish second 10 points behind Man United but a good what's that seven points clear of third place Arsenal uh, Man United always just seem to win in these in these um, simulations uh, Stoke get relegated uh, bottom I think that may have been where they ended up finishing in real life I can't remember I know they went down so one out of three correct there and um, West Ham go down. Obviously, we just simulated them with Pellegrini. He isn't in charge on this one. I think Moyes still is. I didn't. I didn't change the other managers on this one uh, for this experiment or these experiments. Uh, Newcastle just survived by three teams on 36 and a couple on 38. Really tight. Sort of going into the last part of the season. Um, but if we look at season preview again, we can see who came up. See how they got that right. Fulham, Derby, and Wolves. I mean, that's nearly three out of three. I think Fulham beat Derby, so maybe not nearly. Brighton, sort of heavily favourites with them as well. But Wolves and Fulham, they got correct. And Derby, obviously, would have been Cardiff instead, so they didn't get that bit right. But they're doing quite well in the promotion promotion guesses and Burnley getting in the, uh, the um, Europa League, <laughs> which actually happened. I think, that, I think that's happening this year. Is that happening? Are we really in a world where Burnley are in Europe? Possibly, possibly. Um, so he's still in the job. He's finished in the league. Let's have a look how he's done in the other competitions. Uh, Chelsea, there we go. So we go to schedule. Community Shield, first of all, obviously they play Arsenal in that. They won that on penalties. Unfortunately, Fabregas, snaky Fabregas getting the goal. Uh, Alonso was sent off, which allowed Lacazette to score. But they, it went straight to penalties and they were, you know, victorious on penalties. Um, we've got a few more competitions to look at this one obviously because they're in the Champions League so we'll go to the FA Cup next um, disappointing in that they beat Sheffield Wednesday in the third round looks like they did rotate a little bit there's a few players that maybe wouldn't play normally Dujon Sterling, Izzy Brown, Panzo not sure who he is, Caballero, Rhys James uh, a few sort of fringe players and youth players uh, but they got through uh, the fourth round in the home game against Southampton they went to uh, ex, well, uh, a replay. Uh, Romeo, R Romeo, sorry, uh, next Chelsea player. Uh, Charlie Austin gave him the lead, but yeah, Romeo sent off. A uh, bit more of a serious um, first team in this one, but still a few. Is that's not the one who used to play for Liverpool, is it? <laughs> oh my God, it is. We've just given away a transfer that's already happened, but I just had to have a look at him just to make sure. And then they went out on penalties themselves to Southampton in the replay. Austin again, Gabby Adini with an 88th minute equaliser. Uh, Alonso sent off this time and Villian and Hazard with the goals so not so good in the FA Cup and uh, what else we've got to look at now we've got the Champions League so they got to the semi-finals so let's go so they had PSG in the group 
lost in the first game with Giroud. Uh, Hoffenheim, a good win. Salzburg, who obviously at the time of recording this may not be applicable, but we've, we've got them in our group at Shakhtar at the moment in series, season four. Um, two, two wins over them, two quite easy wins over them. One was a bit tough, but again, PSG have enough to, to get over them. And Hoffenheim, so they they come through second in that group. They then play Atletico Madrid, draw one or at home, which is a, a dodgy result, but they see it off in the second leg with Felipe Luis, obviously an ex-Chelsea player, uh, getting sent off in that game, which allowed Chelsea in after extra time. I think that looks like, is it? It must be, because he scored in 119th minute right before it went to... Would it have gone to penalties? It would have gone to penalties. Wow, okay. And then they beat Tottenham in the quarterfinals. Absolutely destroyed them at home, 4-1. Raphael sent off and Vertonghen sent off, so Tottenham really undisciplined in that game. Uh, and then a nil-nil away was enough to just see them through. Uh, and then they come against Juventus away nil-nil, not a bad result. Didn't get the away goal, um, so which is always a bit of a concern. But you think you've taken them back home, you've got a chance. But they lost one nil at home with Mandzukic scoring a goal, and I can only imagine that was an overhead kick, um, based on what he's done before and the fact that it seems to be the talk of the Champions League at the moment obviously we get Gareth Bale scoring that overhead kick, uh, you know bicycle kick in the Champions League final against uh, Liverpool sorry Liverpool um, so let's have a look we've looked at that see if there's any staff again I'm not 100% sure on the staff it looks like he may have brought an assistant manager with him but of course he could have been there with Conte he was there with Conte Hilario has been made goalkeeping coach I don't know if that's something in real life Cudicini's there again I don't know Gianluca Conte is there. I'm guessing he came with Conte. Nothing else there that jumps out. So I guess we'll go and look on the... I can't believe Eddie Newton's still employed by them. We'll go and look on the transfers and transfer history. So this year, uh, Lewis Baker's gone to Palace. So a young academy graduate just not getting a chance. Sold again on loan constantly. I mean, it's just a revolving door with Chelsea, isn't it? Uh, Ross Barkley goes to Arsenal. He always goes to Arsenal. Pretty much every other manager in my Wenger replacement save, someone signed Ross Barkley. I don't get it. And he is, didn't even play a game. He signed, to be fair, he signed at the end of the season. Please don't play a game. Uh, Gary Cahill went to Celtic. Interesting one. He's 32 now. Didn't really figure last year, so didn't fit in the plan. So makes sense. 26 million recouped. 63 uh, million. I just realised, yeah, of course, the, the Ross Barkley hasn't played yet. It happened this summer uh, before we dropped that in the comments. Uh, 63 million spent this year. Donny van der Beek from Ajax. I know him quite well from my save on in Ajax a couple of years ago. Decent player, but I've seen him signed in a few of the Wenger saves as well. I don't think he was ever worked out, really. And Belotti was the player I saw, and obviously he, has, he signed for this season 50-odd million. But he just does bits in this game he is a fantastic striker and I, I've been a left I do want to do a save with them they were a manager that I randomly went to I think it I think it was FM 11 maybe even like 10 9 something like that just did a bit of a did my save got a bit bored of it resi resigned the club and went on holiday for like three years and came back at whatever point and I've been a left was the club I was at and took them from Serie C1A or whatever it was up to Serie A and it was a fantastic little save it took a good few years but yes, C1A, that's where they are currently. But back then it was whatever it was. So maybe Serie B possibly started that. Or because I was in the future, it, they would have gone down a little bit. I'm not too sure. And yeah, I enjoyed that save immensely. So I might go back to that maybe this year or for FM19. Watch this space. Uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to like to see. If I, could, I want to try and get a kit of theirs as well. Um, they're an interesting team. I did nearly toy with going to Italy to try and watch a game of theirs as well. Back in, yes, that must have been before I met my wife, so mid mid to late 2000s. So yeah, probably around the FM 07, 08 time. Crazy how, how how much time flies. But yeah, Belotti's in. That's a fantastic signing for them. Just going off tangent a little bit, I'm going to try and bring it back to, bring us back up to speed. Uh, transfers out. First season, Victor Moses goes to Shakhtar Donetsk. Ah, why did you buy him <laughs> for 17 million? Why have they got 17 million in the first season? I had nothing near that sort of money in the first season. I think I had about four. I seem to recall Eduardo, don't know who he is. Uh, Delach is the sort of fifth choice goalkeeper, something like that, isn't he? And Beanie, he's the guy, the goalkeeper on Fever, who, who's like 17 but looks about 50. And he's gone as well. A couple of loans, anyone? No one that stands out particularly. And they signed Danny Parejo, who's now the vice captain. I think he's from Valencia. Here he is. I didn't actually clock that on the main screen. 
Uh, I don't think it shows on the main screen, actually. Yeah, Valencia did okay his first season. Not too bad for his first season in English football, but he is 29. And, yeah, Sebastian Coates or Juarez Quates. Awful, awful defender. Um, guy I used to work with a Liverpool fan, just hated him. <laughs> it was good to see, the, glad to see the back of him. But, yeah, so I think with that, what do we have? We have a Champions League semi-final, a second-place finish in the Premier League, and a fairly dismal cup run. Uh, and a community shield uh, on top as well. So if there's any Chelsea fans watching this who've you know stumbled across this, or in my viewer base currently who are Chelsea fans, you know, would you think would that be a successful season next season? Would it be progress for you after obviously what has been quite a disappointing season this season, in respect of what Chelsea expect, I suppose. Um, you know, finishing what was it fourth? No, fifth wasn't it? Fifth, just above Arsenal, fifth and not really doing much else I think was there a it wasn't the league cup no obviously won the FA cup this year so a bit of saving grace but let me know what you think would you know would this what we've seen be a successful season even if you're not a Chelsea fan let me know what you think um and any other comments as well but if you're here drop a like on the video as well if you've enjoyed it uh be sure to check out my Shakhtar series and the other experiments that I'm doing and also while you're here please do drop a sub on the channel as well it'd be much appreciated uh keep up to date with more experiments and other content as well not just football manager other bits as well that i'm trying to drop in so yeah with that out of the way uh until next time i will see you later take care